you know, God is a word, and it means somewhat different things to different traditions, but there's actually some consistent ideas about God. All the different traditions describe God as being unlimited in what? Creativity, intelligence, beauty, love. What, what happens to entities as they evolve through any kind of evolution, biological evolution or technological evolution? They become more complicated. They remember more. They become smarter, more creative, more beautiful. They move in the direction that God has described as having qualities without limit. So you can say that evolution is a, is a spiritual process where entities become more godlike, never reaching that ideal, but moving in that direction exponentially. So we're going to, we're going to explode in these very qualities that God has been described. One very important spiritual concept is the idea of consciousness. Sometimes it's called a soul. We believe that a human being is not just some gadget that responds even intelligently, that there's someone actually experiencing these things. When, the, when the, the entity acts in a loving way, there's actually a feeling of love by uh, someone who is conscious. And that's actually the ultimate spiritual quality. And what I am predicting is that we will have machines, we're gonna need a different word because these are not like the machines you're used to. Uh, these are gonna be machines that will seem as human, as real, as conscious as any uh, actual human being. And they'll be indistinguishable from human intelligence. Now, you can have a very engaging philosophical debate, and I do discuss these issues in my books. You know, are they really conscious or are they just simulating that? Do they just seem conscious? Is there really anybody home? Uh, my view is when these entities really are convincing, which they're not today, but they will be, that's the key prediction I'm making, uh, we will consider them to be conscious. And moral. Uh, absol immoral. Absolutely. I mean, intelligence is not just being fantastic at logical thinking. Uh, and, and missing all of emotional intelligence because we're already there. I mean, computers are already better than humans at logical thinking. Even mathematicians cannot hold up to Mathematica running on a personal computer. It, it is our emotional intelligence, the ability to be funny, to get the joke. Uh, that is the cutting edge of human intelligence. That's the most sophisticated, complicated thing we do. Uh, and that's exactly the heart of my prediction, that these computers will match us in emotional intelligence, which includes our whole moral system. We're going to sort of saturate our ability to be intelligent, including all the computers that we can build here on Earth, and we will spread out to the rest of the universe. And you can debate uh, how long that will take, but ultimately we will expand to the rest of the universe. And the whole universe, rather than just being kind of a clockwork mechanism, that has no intelligence and no consciousness is gonna kind of wake up. It's gonna become uh, infused with our intelligence. Maybe intelligence from other civilizations who are doing the same thing. I make an argument actually that, that they don't exist, that, that, we will, that we are the first. But you know, one way or another, intelligence from our civilization, maybe others, will expand throughout the entire universe. Uh, that's gonna be a fantastic level of intelligence that's as close to being godlike as we can imagine. We live in a universe that allows evolution to take place because it can encode information. In particular, we can have atoms, and atoms can form molecules, particularly the carbon atom can uh, form links in four different directions, so it's very good at coding information. How did we end up in a universe like that? There's a lot of deep philosophical debates. I mean, one is the anthropic principle, which says, well, we don't know how, why it is that way, but if it weren't the case, we wouldn't be here talking about it, and that's true. So some people say God started it. Some people say it was uh, another evolutionary process in another universe. Some people say we're a high school science experiment in another universe. So this is all a, we're all a science fair experiment uh, that somebody created our universe. I mean, it's, very, it's really a matter of philosophical debate. Uh, it's probably as reasonable to say some intelligent entity, which you can call God, created it as any other philosophy. There's no way to test these ideas. I have appreciation for a link from science to the concepts that come from our religious traditions that, than I did before because I can see how we can create fantastic levels of intelligence, including concepts like beauty and love and 
uh, our emotions, and that, that we, we will get to fantastic levels that sort of rival what has been discussed in the religious traditions, at least move in that direction. And you can consider these spiritual concepts, uh, you can consider evolution a spiritual journey or spiritual process because we become more godlike, never quite reaching that ideal, but we do move in that direction.